Hey everybody, Jeremy Lord here and welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Uh, today's video we're going to go through a little bit of a Photoshop tutorial um, on how to do this kind of scan glitch effect that I've found online. Um, this guy that I follow, Bryce Wong, who does all of these images that are kind of, kind of scan glitched and all that, um, recently posted something on Procreate on how to do that and I thought that I would show you guys a really quick and simple tutorial on how to get that effect going in Photoshop. Let's take a look. So we're in Photoshop now, uh, and as you can see, I've got some of Bryce's work up. And I've chosen this one because I'm a particularly fan of this one, simply because it is um, this kind of Sailor Moon manga kind of vibes. Um, but it's also very indicative of his work where you get that effect where it's kind of like you've moved an image as you were scanning it, um, and you've moved it across the kind of the, the scanning bed, and you get this stretch kind of glitch effect, which is really effective. Uh, most of his work, if you go to his Instagram, uh, and again, description below, um, is hand drawn and so he does this all by hand which is really awesome but he's also moving into digital and he posted this video recently where he shows how to do this in Procreate so I thought I'd um, give a little shout out to him and also show you guys how to do this in um, Photoshop um, so let's move in um, to my work here so I've got this um, drawing and as you can see it's just this outline this black outline and I'm going to split this in half and we're going to go very simply into how to do this. So first off is I'm going to use my rectangular selection tool and I'm going to pick a spot here to basically cut it, the image in half. I do have to be a little bit thoughtful if I cut it like here for instance you will see that this area has got a lot of black in it uh, and it might not yield the best result when I stretch it because I'm going to get a big kind of swathe of black happening through my image. Um, an example of something like that is maybe something like this. Um, so that has already been done here. So I've cut this image and on a separate layer I've done this kind of effect here. And what you can see is there's, you know, there's quite a lot of black happening here because of the area that that kind of um, cut effect has been put onto. It's still quite effective, but yeah, the point is here, there is some thought to be given as to where you cut your image. Um, so I'm going to maybe just move it to like here. So I want a little bit of black, so I've got a bit of contrast, um, but I'm also getting a little bit of line work uh, and maybe we'll just kind of do that here. Um, then I'm going to move this up. So a little quick shortcut for you guys, while you're in the selection tool, um, you don't need to move to the actual move tool. If you hold down command or control on your PC, you can actually switch manually to that and we can just move that selection up like that. I'm gonna hold down shift so that it does it immediately above that. Not super important, but just a, a nice little thing to have. And we're gonna move that one down as well. So we haven't made a new layer. It's all just kind of sitting there on this um, same layer. We just kind of split the image in half and spread it out a little bit. Now comes a bit, I'm gonna make a brush out of this bottom bit here. So another rectangular selection, and I wanna select a little bit of the bottom half of that image. Not too much, but enough that I've got, you know, something going for my actual brush that I'm gonna make. Um, so with that selection, make sure that I'm on the right layer. I'm gonna to go to edit, define brush preset, and I'm gonna call this Gundam Glitch. These brushes are obviously going to be kind of single use brushes. I'm not going to necessarily be able to reuse this in a bunch of ways. Uh, but you can see here that my brush has been created. Um, and I don't necessarily need to make a new layer or anything. I can just start painting um, on this as we go. So now my brush, as you guys might be able to see if I zoom in, you'll see that it aligns kind of perfectly to that because I've essentially made my selection from that. Um, and so I'm I'll put it on a new layer just so I can give it a few goes because a bit of trial and error here, but you'll see, and whoops, shit, I'm using blue. I want to use black, and there we go. So we can kind of get this glitch, make sure that it lines up more or less to the bottom, um, and that's kind of basically it. From here, it's more just kind of trying to get a little bit of that kind of glitch effect going. I'm not super pleased with that one. Um, so we can try a bunch of different things like we make it real super janky and a little bit kind of messed up. Something there, again, there's a bit of trial and error here um, for us to do, but the basic principle is essentially gonna be the same. You make your selection, um, define brush preset, and then you've got that brush um, going and you can just paint with it 
as you see fit. Um, like I said, that brush is obviously not going to be super useful um, anywhere else, but that's um, that's essentially it. So now we've got our kind of glitchy, stretched out Gundam that matches up nice and clean to our um, to our two portions. From there, we can also kind of you know mess around with different things. Um, I've done this one on the Samurai here where I've added this kind of 3D effect to make it a little bit even more kind of glitchy. Um, it's up to you what you do here. Unfortunately, the one thing that you can't really do unless you do this manually like Bryce Wong does is to do this with color. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily be able to make this happen all at the same time if this was a color illustration. So if my Gundam was filled, you know, in blue, white and red, um, those glitches wouldn't necessarily work on here for that. Um, but yeah, it's still a kind of really cool simple effect that you can get in black and white. So that's it for this super quick tutorial. That's everything for today's tutorial guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of it. Uh, if you did, a like and a subscribe as always would be super appreciated. Um, also make sure that you guys check out Bryce Wong's um, Instagram. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, always really good to kind of get those inspiration going. I'm a huge fan of his work, have been for a long time. Um, so definitely make sure you guys check that out. And until then, take care and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.